Good evening and welcome to the Gospel of Truth. I'm Alan Jackson, bringing to you spiritual songs and hymns and the power of the spoken word of God. First of all, giving thanks to God Almighty for blessing me with this another outpouring of his tender love and mercy and that he's allowed me once again to be on this the time side of life and to have this another blessed privilege to come to you in his name by way of this television medium and to bring to you another message from his holy and divine word. And as I always do, I'd like to continue to express my appreciation to the production staff for their continued service to the gospel truth. And it is my prayer that God will bless each one of them with those things that he knows that they are standing in need of. And I'm praying on your behalf as participant observers. And it is my prayer that God will continue to bless you and your family with all of those things that he knows that you're standing in need of as well. And then, of course, I'm encouraging you to pray on my behalf because I'm also standing in need of prayer. And it's only God who can provide me with those things that I am standing in need of. And so this evening, uh, we're going to continue in our normal mode of broadcasting. And I do have my prayer list and a song do want to encourage you to write to us and to send to us the names of your friends, your relatives, and your loved ones. And we will add their names to the prayer list. I'll pray for them, encourage you to pray for them, and everyone in the viewing audience to pray for them as well. And you can send those names to The Gospel Truth at P.O. Box 3944, Berkeley, California, 94703. Or you can call the prayer line at 510 848-8843 and you can leave the names of your friends, your relatives, and your loved ones and we will add their names to the prayer list. Or if there's a Bible question that you have that you'd like to have answered, you can leave that question on our answering service and we will get back to you on the air with an answer. All right, and we also want to encourage you to go to YouTube. We do have a channel over there so you can Bring up the internet, bring, go to YouTube, bring up the Gospel Truth with Alan Jackson, and there you will have access to all of the programs that we have on our channel. And keep in mind that our cinematographer, Eddie Langford, he also has a channel called Eddie Cam One. And you can go there and pull up Eddie Cam One, and there you can view all the programs that he has on his channel for the Gospel Truth. All right, so now we're going to get into our prayer list as we uh, continue to pray on behalf of Annette Jeffrey. We're praying on behalf of Geraldine Keyes, Emma Jean Hayes, Elizabeth Adams, Yvonne Davis. And we're also praying on behalf of the Ahmad Aubrey family, the Brianna Taylor family, Teresa Watson, Virginia Daniels, Deborah Price. We're also praying on behalf of Teresa Wanzo, Joe Brokaw, Josie Pitt Sr. and family. Sheldon Horton, and we're also praying on behalf of Nancy Lagardi and the Richard Brooks family. We're also praying on behalf of Shelley Lopez County and Cornelius County. We're also praying on behalf of Jacob Blake and family, the Daniel Prude family. We're also praying on behalf of uh, George Ivory and also uh, the Annie Riley, the Flowers family, and the Gillum family. Perlene Jesse, Candace Powers, Terrence Bailey. We're also praying on behalf of Wilma Carpenter, Sherry Drumgoo, Betty Williams of The Connection. We're also praying on behalf of Bethany Williams, uh, Vernita Coates. We're also praying on behalf of Susan Gilmer and family, Dorothy Lofton, Brenda Williams, George, the George Floyd family, Vincent Jones Jr., Ayanna Rowe. We're also praying on behalf of Commissar Phillips and family, uh, Dudley Sankey. We're also praying on behalf of Jesse Stevenson, Jr. and Sylvester Stevenson, Sr., Ursi Joyner, Curtis Porter, Shinhan Jim Pitch. And we're also praying on behalf of Darnell Red, Ronald Gleaves. We're also praying on behalf of Pearlie Jones and family, uh, Pat Marlboro, Dicey Stevenson, Missy Williams, Willis and Norma Taylor. We're also praying on behalf of Wilma and Harry Kellum. We continue to pray on behalf of Myra DeVore, Otis Phillips Sr. and Loretta. 
We're also praying on behalf of Gary Gassaway, Ralph Edward Stewart, Candle Yarborough, uh, Reggie Brown, Willamay Willard, Norvell Edmondson. We're also praying on behalf of Weldon Rucker, Louise Harris, Augustine Red, Damar Hamlin. We're also praying on behalf of Eddie Langford, Otis Phillips Jr., Gwen Hill, David Alexander, Sean Alexander, D'Angelo Gleaves, Patricia, Gerard Herndon, Gene Alexander, Robin M. Williams, and also Jerome Holloway. We're also praying on behalf of Dion Sanders, Aranda Morris, Shirley Burnell, Jermaine Minor. We continue to pray on behalf of uh, Othery Christian, uh, Karen Collins, uh, Donald Drumgoo, we're also praying on behalf of D. Lois Alexander, Bakari, and Juliana Akil, Joy Hines, and we're also praying on behalf of Susan jo Josephs, D.A. Pamela Price, Congresswoman Barbara Lee, uh, Jada King, and Pierre Drumgoo. We're also praying on behalf of the bereaved former President Jimmy Carter's family, with the loss of his wife, Rosalind Carter. We're praying that God will comfort the family during this time of their bereavement. Those are the names that we have on our prayer list, and we encourage you to pray for them. And if you don't remember their names, that's quite all right. God knows who they are, and he will bless them according to his riches and glory. And you will be blessed immensely as a result of you praying on behalf of people perhaps that you don't even know. So right now, our song, I have uh, Chris Turner, Malcolm Himes III, and Chester Mayfield, and they are leading and singing Hold to God's Unchanging Hand. So without any further remarks, Hold to God's Unchanging Hands. Hold they ought to hold to his hand. Hold on to my God, unchanging hand. Everybody ought to hold on. Hold on to my God, unchanging hand. No, it can be. I hope something's eternal. Everybody ought to hold, hold on to a God, unchanging Everybody ought to hold, hold to his hand. Hold on to my God's son, the changing hand. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta hold on. Hold on to my God's son, changing hand. I know it can be able to hope something. Unchanging hand, Lord, you know time and time is filled with the swift plan of the sun. Yes, it is, yes, it is now, Lord, of earth and mood can stand. Oh, you want to be feel your hopes on things eternal. That's a mighty long time. Hold on. Hold on to God's sun changing. Everybody ought to hold on to his hand. If you want to make it, hold on to God's unchanging hand. You got to, you got to, you got to hold on. Never let go, no, no, my God's sun changing hand. I know it can build our hopes on things. Unchanging hand, everybody ought to hold on to it. Hold on to my God's unchanging hand. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta hold on. Hold on to God's changing hand. If you do, you will go. Hold on to things eternal. Yeah, 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 yeah. They will never fade away. Hold on to God's unchanging hand. Oh, covenant, not this world's vain. Vain riches that's so old. 
that so rapidly decay. You want to see to gain, gain, gain the heavenly treasure. Because they will never fade, never fade away. If you do, you just hold on to his Hold on to God's hand. Never let go of his hand. Hold on to God's hand. Build your whole soul. Things eternal. You can never tear them down. No hold. Hold to God's hand. Lord, you ought to trust, trust, trust in, in him, him, cause he won't leave you. <laughs> no, you won't, no, you won't, no matter whatsoever the years may bring. Lord, if my earthly friends forsake us, if they turn and walk away from you still, Closer to him, that's the reason I hope. Oh, come on, Pastor. Hold on, I got some changing ahead. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta hold on to his hand. Hold on to my God on the changing hand. Say, how you can be your Hold on to my God. Hey, hey, you better, you better, you better, you better hold, hold on to my God. Hey, you got to build, build your hopes on things eternal. Y'all got to Oh, you better hold, hold on to God. Sun changing. They, they, they tell me when, when your journey is completed, when it's all over now, and if for two God you have been true, don't you know fair, fair and bright that a home in over yonder somewhere after a while, your, your. So will be you say hold to his hand Hold on to God's unchanging hand Never let go of his hand Hold on, hold on to God's unchanging hand I know you can build, build your hopes on things Things eternal my Lord, one more verse, hold on, hold on. on. I forgot one more. I, I, let me say this. I, say. I would not, I would not be a sinner, y'all. Oh, I'll tell you, you the reason why, 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 why. God, I'm afraid. No, I would not be ready hey, hey, hey. to die. Yeah, That's the reason I hold on to, on to his hand. Hold on to my God. I ain't gonna ever let go. No, 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 no. You ought to hold on. I'm gonna hold on. Keep on holding on. You can, you can feel all of your hopes on things eternal. Lord, that's a mighty long time. Hold on, hey Lord, God's unchanging hand. And so this evening, I'd like to invite your attention to the book of John, if you will, the fifth chapter, and verses 39 and 40. 
I'll be reading verses 39 and 40, but you can read all the way up to verse uh, 47. The Bible says, Search the Scriptures, for in them you think you have eternal life, and they are they which testify of me. And ye will not come to me that you might have life. So it is from these verses this evening that I am selecting for a subject, search the scriptures, search the scriptures. I'd like to uh, invite you to go over to the book of Psalms, the 19th chapter, and the verses 7 through 11. And the Bible reads thusly, The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. The statutes of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandments of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean. Enduring forever the judgments of the Lord are true. Enduring the judgments of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold, yea, than much fine gold, sweeter also than honey and the honeycomb. Moreover, by them is thy servant warned, and in keeping of them there is great reward. Again, this evening, we are dealing with the subject, search the scriptures. Search the scriptures. Now, we should search the scriptures reverently, and that is with a deep and solemn respect for God's holy and divine word. We should search, we should search them, uh-huh, and understanding the words of the Lord. We should search them diligently, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law does he meditate day and night. And that's Psalms, the first chapter and verses one and two. Two. So, again, we search God's word reverently, uh huh, and that's with solemn and deep respect. We search them diligently in the way that shows care, all right, keeping in mind, but his law, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law does he meditate day and night, all right? And so when we search the scriptures, and that's the subject this evening, search the scriptures. When you search the scriptures, you will know truth from error. You will know that there are only three dispensations in religion. The patriarchal period from the creation to the giving of the law at Mount Sinai. And that was in 1491 B.C. The Mosaical dispensation from the giving of the law from Sinai to the death of Jesus in A.D. 33. The Christian dispensation from the death of Jesus until the end of time. And when or if you hear a preacher say that we are in the Holy Spirit dispensation, you will know that he is a false teacher. That's why we study God's word so we will know the truth. We should search the scriptures intently, and that is with earnest and eager attention. We understand so that we, uh, so that thou might incline thy ear unto wisdom and apply thine heart unto understanding. Proverbs, the second chapter, in the verses number two. And we should search the scriptures systematically, and that is with a plan, huh? according to a fixed plan. You should study them in that way, not just haphazardly going from here to there, but throughout using a system to understand. The Bible says study 
to show thyself approved unto God, uh -huh, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. And that's 2 Timothy, the second chapter, and the verses number 15. We should study or we should search the scriptures prayerfully. In other words, when you begin your study, pray to God and ask him to open up your mind that you might be able to receive the engrafted word which is able to save your soul. We should search them prayerfully. Open thou mine eyes that I may behold the wondrous things out of the law. Psalms 119 and the verses number 18. And we should search the scriptures understandingly, keeping in mind that we are studying them in a way that shows care. And this is what the Bible says. Remember the Ethiopian eunuch. He had an opportunity to hear the gospel. Well, first, the Philip, the preacher, the evangelist, asked him, he said, do you understand what you're reading? And he had enough intelligence and humility to say, how can I except some man should guide me? That's over there in the book of Acts, the 8th chapter, and the verses number 31. And if you don't understand, then you should ask somebody who knows what's written upon the pages of inspiration. And when you study them, you will learn all about Jesus, his birth, uh -huh, his death, and his resurrection. And you will find there that he was born, and that's what the Bible tells us. We don't have a date or a time in which he came into existence, but the Bible says that he was born. We should search, search the scriptures believingly. In other words, when you study and search the scriptures, believe the things that you have written. Because the Bible tells us over there in John 20 and 31, but these things are written that you might have, that you might believe that Jesus uh -huh, is the Christ, the Son of God, and that by believing you might have life through his name. Once again, that's John 20 and the verses number 20 and 31. We should search the scriptures retentively, and that is retaining and remembering the things that we have read when we search the scriptures. Uh, David said, Thy word I have hid in my heart, that I might not sin against thee. Psalms 119 and the verses number 11. And you know something else? We need to study God's word daily. And if you will, let me take you over to the book of Acts, the 17th chapter, if you will. And there we will see an example of how uh, these individuals studied God's holy and divine word. Remember, that's Acts 17 and beginning with verse number 11. The Bible says, the Bible says these were more noble than those in Thessalonica and that they received the word with all readiness of mind and searched the scriptures daily whether those things were so. So when you search God's word and you hear what's written upon the pages of inspiration, you will know the truth from error. If you hear somebody say that Jesus raised himself from the dead, then you will know that he is a false teacher and is teaching a false doctrine because the Bible lets us know in Acts, uh -huh, the second chapter in the verses 24, the Bible says, whom God has raised up, having loosed the pains of death, because it was not possible that he should be holding of it. So if somebody's teaching something other than what's written, then you know that they're a false teacher, a false prophet, and you need to get as far away from them as you possibly can. Somebody might say as far as the east is from the west. But we need to understand that we need to search the scriptures daily, all right, so we'll understand what's written upon the pages of inspiration. We should search the scriptures so that we might be saved, if you will, over there in the book of Acts one more time. We'll go to Acts the 20th chapter, in Acts the 20th chapter and the verses number 32. You can hear these words that are written upon the pages 
of inspiration. That's Acts 20 and the verses number 32. And these are the words that are written. And now, brethren, I commend you to God and to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up and to give you an inheritance among all them that are sanctified. If you want to get that inheritance, study God's word so you'll know that the, Jesus came for the purpose of seeking and saving the lost. He came saying that I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. Paul told us over there in Ephesians, the fourth chapter, there's one Lord, one faith, and one baptism. And there's only one way that you're going to get to God, and that is through Jesus, keeping in mind that the Lord is not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. John 3, 17, For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. And keeping in mind that Jesus, on his mission, he came and did exactly what his Father wanted him to do. He hung, bled, and died on the cross of Calvary for your sins and for mine. You remember, he said, I'm the way, John 14 and 6. He said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life, and no man comes to the Father but by me. So what did he do so we could get to the Father? He established his church. He came into the coast of Caesarea Philippi, and there was a group of people mingling around, and he looked out and said to his apostles, who do these folks say that I am? Well, they looked around, and Peter said, well, they said, some say you are Jeremiah, some say you're John the Baptist, some say you're Elias, or just one of the prophets. But then he turned to his inner circle, and he asked him, he said, but whom do you say that I am? And it was Peter who said, thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus said, I say unto thee, blessed are thou Simon by Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this unto you, but my Father which is in heaven. And I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. You come to the Lord by faith, repentance, confession, and baptism. By doing those five things, the Lord will add you to his body, which is his church. And then if you live a faithful life, he will save you in the end. I'm Alan Jackson, and I'm inviting you to join us again next week, if it's God's will. When he, we will come to you bringing to you another message from his holy and divine word. Until then, it is my prayer that God will continue to bless you and your family and to keep you all safe.